Have you ever been asked to recreate like one of the celebrity weddings? Like, मुझे ऐसी ऐसी no. चाहिए. No, I I pick my brides and grooms also. They have to be intelligent. They have to be smart. They have to be they have to be nice. They have yeah. to be in love. Uh, the basics have to be. Met. But how do you figure if they're in love or not? I meet them. I chat with them. Instinctively. Instinctively. Yeah. You kind of know. You know. You kind of know if they're in love. Hmm. It's hard to hide that. I feel. Yeah. Fair. You know. Yeah. That's true. If somebody looks at me and says you're in love, I can't be like, no, I'm not. Like, they are so blushing. <laughs> no, but you know, like there are so many like these super arranged weddings also where they barely met. So then, then what do you do there? I think that used to happen back in the day because I talk to all of the brides and grooms now, and then I talk to their parents, then mm-hmm. I talk to their grandparents. So the grandparents, when they met, they didn't meet. She didn't know who she was marrying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She my, just, I she just got married. I didn't know my grandma knew either. Like she just met him once and spoken to him once. That your grandma's lucky. Yeah. I've had granddads who told me I don't know who was marrying. My father told me go to the village and marry her. I went to the village. She was wearing a gungat. I married her when I put it up. I was so happy. She was beautiful. <laughs> I was like, thank you, Papa. <laughs> so that's granddad story. Grandma yeah. and the the parent story is, ha, to her chacha knew my chacha and you know we met yeah. for chai. I used to see her down in the building. She used to go. She used to very pretty girl. So I told my mother I want to marry her, and our parents spoke. We met for two days. Yeah, and, then and that was it. Roka ho gaya, shadi ho gayi, and then two days later, this one was born. Yeah. So now, these ones, the parents make them meet. Um, But they date for a bit. They date for a bit. They suss each other out. They go out. They mm-hmm. holiday. They vacation. They go yeah. to the Maldives. They go diving. Now they don't. Now they go to Lakshadweep and Andamans. They don't go to the Maldives anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Um, nobody goes to the Maldives. Nobody goes to the Maldives anymore. <laughs> and then they go diving and they they see each other and then they meet each other and then um, then they decide. But then there's also some pressure from parents. I feel, mm. which I feel should back off a little bit because these are big decisions. And, yeah. You know, ha! Huh, you have to say yes or no. You know, their the answer has come from their side. What are you going? So it's then and then you're just like, but I'm not so sure. Mm. It shouldn't be a fight. Yeah. To to you have to be sure. Yeah. When you're going in, to of get course. Married. I mean, it's a you very have to fight big with your life to wait, decision. I, I I don't think you can afford to take it lightly. True. You know, for me, when let's say I watch all of these videos, I think the uh, Sid Kiara wedding was also beautiful, and you know whether it was so many of them. Of course, for us, um, we see these and we feel like, oh my god. This is what. Tell me something. Did any of these videos ever make you say like, "Shit, even I want to get married"? All. I. All. Uh, truth be told, all. Um, so you're, you're but not. But it's a not lot. a lasting. Uh, <laughs> then oh. you're like, no, but I'm also happy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is also ends. complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so for that brief moment, of course, every single time. I think when Deepika and me's video came out, like one of my other friends who's also single, she was just like, you know, for 24 hours, I was just like, damn. Especially the song. I think she just loved the song. Yeah. And uh, she was just like, you know. The yeah. music is another thing that I learned from film. Um, From Farah and Shah Rukh again was like they really understand cinema, um, and he said something to me once. Every memory needs a melody, and I took wow. that to heart and I use it very often. That's very beautiful, actually, and very profound. But it's true. It is true. It and, is very true. And that's how Ahi Guru was born because when when um, Deepika was walking in, Harshdeep was singing Ekonkar uh, live. But yeah. you know when you sing it live and she sings it, she sings it beautifully. Incidentally, it's also Ranbir Singh's favorite prayer. Hmm. So every morning he'd wake up and play a version that she sang from a film called Rang De Basanti. Correct. Yeah. Um, so that was his favorite morning routine. He'd wake up, he'd listen to that over and over again, and you know, do his do his prayer. Um, and that's what he walked into, and she sang it live. So it was very spiritual. Now to recreate sound like that live, it's hard because you know harmonium tabla doesn't really fit. Yeah. Um, a live recording. Correct. So we came back to the studio. I mean, like if we're recording it again, if you're recording this ekonkar again, then let's make it epic. Yeah. Let's add a chant to it. So yeah. we added the Wahi Guru chant to it. And yeah. I got um, Shelly Sahab, who's this very beautiful Punjabi writer in Bombay. He wrote for Rangde Basanti as mm. well, lyrics, and he wrote the lyrics for the song. And then he's like, let's come up with lines for the lava and for the palle ceremony mm. that happens in yeah. in the in the Anand Karaj. So he we recorded that too, and it just turned out it's soulful. Mohan Kanan. From the band Agni, if you remember, yeah, them. of so, course. Mohan Kanan came and he sang. I just and I cold called these people. It's not like I knew them. Ahate is an Agni song, no? Ahate is. Yeah, Agni I love song. that song. Mohan Kanan's mm. voice, strong voice. So he sang. Harshdeep Kaur sang, and they were gracious. They were just so nice. 
they didn't know what I was doing it for. They didn't know why I was doing it. Secrecy is a big deal. I was going to ask you, how do you pull it off? That's so hard. I tell people it's a wedding. It's a do you sign thing. NDAs? I do sign NDAs. Yeah. We do sign them and they're very strict ones. You do yeah. them for some big ones and then you just like... But it's also funny, like sometimes you do a wedding for a celebrity and you sign an NDA and they say, can you leak the footage? Really? I'm like, I'm like how? <laughs> <laughs> can you make it look like it's a phone? And I'm like, how? <laughs> wow. You know, every day I learn something new about Bollywood and the people from Bollywood. Yeah, We've had so many people who've come and, you know, I'm, I'm curious. So, you know, I'll ask them questions and just about paps being called and everything, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, so much of it is so staged. It's unfortunate, but I, I don't know. It's perhaps just a part of the game. <laughs> To stay relevant, maybe. Perhaps also don't know any better. No? They, they have to do what they're doing. Huh, but I was really shocked, genuinely, that I didn't know Paps were called. Yeah, yeah. Paps are called. Yeah. Um, to, to get... To, if you're going to the airport, you call the Paps. The manager will call the PR. The PR will call the Paps. And the Paps will come then. But Imagine. Uh, baby is gone. That would have... Been, it sounds bizarre to me. But again... Yeah, we're, we're feeding into the frenzy. You know, it's just hmm. more of it. So what started out... This started out as a memory like no other. It's meant to get the families closer. It was... None of this was meant to be uploaded. Um, when I did Anushka Sharma's film, she didn't upload it. For um, a year, I for think. For a year, she yeah. didn't upload it. When Dia Mirza got married, she didn't upload it. None of these people uploaded it for their whole... They just kept it to themselves. Um, Bipasha Basu was the first person to upload a film back then, but that too after a year, if I'm not mistaken. After we gave it to her, we gave... she only said, yeah, yeah, let's release it. But at that time, I don't think weddings were that big again. People didn't understand them. Social media wasn't huge. Um, now it's just become Now it's an monster. expectation. Now it's like, can I get the 24-hour cut, cut, please? Yes. It's so, become, we've created a monster. Yeah. Right? I tell this to my crew all the time. Like, you are to blame. Done? <laughs> Please hold yourself responsible <laughs> for the frenzy that surrounds weddings now. True that. 